Hey guys, this is Coach Peter. Coach Teresa. Welcome to another episode of the Leaner Stronger podcast. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And the topic of today's podcast came from a conversation that I had with one of my clients this week. There's, I have a weekly conversation with this guy because it really helps with his accountability. So we had a chat about you know how he's been going lately and you know he's a very resourceful client who's actually been working with me for about six years now it's been a really really Amazing. long time and he was just reflecting back on like his his journey and how he you know 2018 2019 he was in a really good place you know he'd been already been training with me for a couple years he's really happy with the way he was feeling he was really happy with the way he was looking he has a very high stress job that does some coach leadership coaching with some executives i don't even know what the hell that means <laughs> anyways he was really happy and then kind of you know covid happened and even though he kept training with me like he came to the park very diligently twice a week he still like things started sliding down a little bit in terms of how he was looking how he was feeling because he kind of got into this habit of some like really very quite unproductive habits in terms of like mm. nutrition sleep hygiene for sure i had a lot of stress from a uh, workplace yeah. perspective not to mention i think just the whole kind of yeah i guess environment that was created due to the pandemic yeah you know? very negative yeah um, unfortunately that was just how things panned out um yeah so overall he kind of found himself in this bit of a like a vicious negative cycle that was just kind of things were spiraling into the wrong direction mm -hmm. and now like about eight weeks ago we we sat down with him and we were like okay like what's what's going on here he really like wasn't happy with with the way he was feeling and with the way he was looking and you know i've been seeing this i'm he's still has hadn't been very consistent showing up to his training sessions so we really hadn't had the chance to like sit down with him but then we were like okay now we, we need to really like we need to cut this right here we, we sat down and we decided that we were going to start doing these weekly 15 minute catch-ups though so that's been really really good mm -hmm. and now we've turned that negative vicious cycle into a positive virtuous cycle and he was just saying how like you know initially we just needed to like cut it and they just needed to be that sitting down together and being like this is not working we need mm -hmm. to really need to change something mm -hmm. and then having that playing back like what he said like having that accountability of the sessions and me being there just helped him to like get a little bit of a hold on hold of the situation mm -hmm. and start pushing the needle into the right direction again because it's almost like there's a momentum to the wrong direction so first you need to cut the momentum which is hard and then whilst you're still kind of like sl maybe moving the, in the this direction imagine it's like a train mm -hmm. that has a lot of momentum behind it yeah you got to slow it down first and then you got to start pushing it into the other direction mm. and that initial like phase can be really really difficult putting the brakes on putting the brakes on and then starting to move into the opposite yeah. direction because you don't necessarily notice those positive changes in the way that you feel you don't notice it instantly it usually takes like one or two weeks of sleeping better eating better be more consistent with your exercise and now your physiology will start changing you're gonna have more energy you're going to have better mood so you're going to feel the positive difference then it's gonna take a couple more weeks it's probably gonna take about four weeks until you start seeing the differences like you know you really start noticing wow my clothes are fitting differently I am now feeling different and I'm also looking different and then it really turns into this full-on sensory experience 
when you hear from other people, you start hearing the feedback that, wow, you're looking different. You look, it really look like you look better mm -hmm. and you look like you have more energy. You look healthier. Yeah. Like your skin starts to change. The color of your eyes start to kind of brighten up. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually so incredible to really see those changes with our clients because, you know, we've got the opportunity to see them multiple times a week and just seeing those changes you know sometimes and it sounds like too good to be true but on an almost on a day-to-day -day basis when they when they're in that kind of that lower place when they first come to you and kind of it's chaotic there's a bit of a shit storm with their yeah. health and their stress but even like you know the resourceful clients who come in and they're like yep let's go i'm going to change whatever you want me to change i'll do the things and literally some weeks it's like each day they come and they look different each day which sounds like too good to be true but especially in the face and the eyes it's absolutely not because when you you change the way you eat when you change the way you sleep and you change the way you exercise you mm. reduce the overall stress and inflammation on your body and that has an immediate impact on on how you look mm -hmm. like absolutely yeah you know i was we had a photo video shoot this morning and two days ago i caught like a little bit of a stomach thing and for the whole day yesterday i was like i felt like crap my belly was like bloated out here yeah. my like whole face was puffy Ew, you said eyes my, my eyes were I've droopy like my whole before. system was in a really stressed and uh, yeah. inflamed state and then, thank God, I you know I got a bit of my appetite back last night. I had a really good night's sleep this morning. Woke up really good, looking really good. Yeah, and you were photo ready to shoot ready. attack it. It was quite amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah, so pulled it together. Anyways, just you know, hold that thought. I'm just gonna grab some fluff. Okay. All right, perfect. He's good. <laughs> Polished. So now with this client, getting getting back to him, like now we are in in this place where he's feeling different he's seeing the difference in his the way that he performs in the gym and in the way that he looks in the mirror and he's hearing from the people around him so now this vicious cycle has really turned into a virtuous cycle because now he's even more excited he's like how can i get more of this shit like give me more give me more how can i you know now it's a matter of like trying to pull him back like no no, no. like let's not go overboard because then you might like he's still got a very stressful job and all that so we we just don't want to go overboard because then you might get burnt out like we just want to get into a place where the momentum is really moving us into the right direction and then just hold on to that and just keep riding that wave that's pushing you in the right direction without getting greedy and trying to catch another wave because who knows like you know this is a surfing analogy like if you so if you've been surfing you realize like sometimes the next wave it'll take a while before it comes yeah so yeah that's it and sometimes if you if you go in too fast but you're actually not ready guess what you're probably just gonna get dumped. exactly yeah like if you <laughs> go for a too big of a wave but you haven't built skills yet you're gonna eat shit <laughs> and yeah yeah good one but yeah it's so amazing i actually had like the almost same conversation with one of my clients yesterday oh yeah and we spoke about how you know you can really go two ways and obviously you can also just stay at maintenance but sometimes you have this snowball effect of of maybe you've had like a big weekend or maybe you've had a big week at work or something maybe a stressful time in your life where you've just kind of come off the rail just a little bit but unfortunately that can just yeah sort of spiral out into more of a negative um I guess yeah result yeah but at the same time when you have that awareness and you're able to all right cool let's just focus on the basics for a second you can start to snowball into that more positive like longer sustainable yes I feel so good yes I've got my energy give me more of this until you yeah you feel amazing you look great you've got compliments coming from all directions and you're like all right let's keep going let's keep going yeah so it's an interesting phenomena right this snowballing phenomena positive yes. or negative it's and i think you hit the nail on the head it's not like 
you're you're always going like snowballing towards the right direction or you're snowballing towards no, the wrong direction because the the, like the goal obviously is to like get to a really nice place with your health and your body composition and and your strength and all that and then just be able to maintain it mm -hmm. you know because when you maintain things that's low stress mm. you know kind of like good yeah and it's <laughs> it, when you build you've got those solid habits like it's not stressful it's super easy to hold on to that stuff but yeah. once when you're kind of building momentum and you ha don't have a habit around those things yet mm -hmm. that is when you it's a little bit more energy consuming mm -hmm. cool. yeah the other thing i want to mention that came up as a, a in this conversation was just like how quickly he in his word he said that how quickly you lose the reference point of how shit you f feel or of how good you felt in the past meaning that you know in 2018 2019 he got to a place where he felt really really good and he told me in his own words he's actually back then he wrote me a testimonial he said i can't believe like how shitty i used to feel before i started training with Peter. and then in COVID, he forgot about it. He said like he literally forgot how good he felt. Mm -hmm. And now it's just it was just like really slowly he was sliding towards like being in this state where he was feeling crappy, looking crappy mm -hmm. and not feeling good. But once you're in it, that's all you know. And you'd forgotten about how good you could have felt. Yeah. And now, or again, sorry, interrupt. Now again, now that he's on the really positive momentum towards a really good place, he literally tells this morning, like, "Yeah, like uh, I, I already noticed myself like forgetting about like how did I feel when I felt really crappy, because now the reference point has shifted to a more positive mm. state again." What do you think makes it so cloudy? Like, what do you think mm. gets in the way of remembering the how good you felt or how shitty you felt? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. And I think that a lot of it just has to do or seriously with like the overall inflammation levels of your, your body. And I know that this sounds like awful more inflammation. This sounds like a little bit airy, <laughs> airy fairy. And like, what, what does that even mean? But what it just simply means is that if your system is under stress, whether it's like a lot of psychological stress or a really common one is that if you're eating junk food or crappy processed foods all the time, your guts are going to be more in a more inflamed state. Okay, And that is not only impacting the guts, but it's 100% inf impacting the whole system as a, as a whole. Like, you know, when you get sick, you don't just feel sick in your head, but literally you have no energy everywhere. You feel you have fever, you're coughing, like everything is going to shit. It's all connected. The whole body is connected. So if your guts are inflamed, your brain is inflamed. When your brain is inflamed, you're not thinking as well as you could be. You don't feel as good as you could. But you ever ask a fish, like, what does it feel like to swim in water? you know clearly it's hard to get across the language barrier but it's like if you if you're swimming in water you don't know that you're swimming in water if that's all you know it's like you someone needs to pick you up bring you above the surface and you're like oh i was i was swimming in there i was underneath the surface the whole time mm -hmm. yeah you were mm -hmm. but now you have that reference point yep Absolutely. And I'll be the first one to put my hand up to, to understanding the difference between having no energy, having like no, no ability to even just like no cognitive power. Mm. Like it almost felt like a dream, like it was non-existent, like a different part of my life. It was so weird. When, when, but, when did you experience that? Uh, I would say when I was first, um, like in my first graduate year as a teacher mm. and I had, I, I was training a lot. Um, actually, I was doing a lot of cardiovascular training. I was going to the gym. So I was doing my absolute best to actually be fit. But I had no idea that, you know, sleep was actually so important. I didn't had no idea about um, macronutrient levels or calorie intake. Uh, and so, yeah, I was probably <laughs> in a very, not a dark place, but yeah. I just had no awareness of how I felt. I didn't know that 
that moment in my life that my energy was so bad because I just thought that's how things were. Yeah. Until obviously I met you. And was that then, when you when you were doing the crazy um, pre workout? Yeah, stuff? that too. Like I know I was having way too much caffeine. I was having pre workout in the morning and a coffee, and then probably having another coffee when I got to work, and then having another coffee in the afternoon, and maybe even having a little bit more <laughs> pre workout hit before I do my afternoon training. Like. You just don't know what you don't know, yeah, unfortunately. That's exactly right. Versus now, like I'll have a cup of coffee in the morning, but the amount of energy that I have now versus back then is crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. I train clients 6.30 in the morning. At the moment, you know me, like I'm still training clients up until 6.30 at night. And my mental capacity and my energy, like my physical capacity is crazy through the roof. Yeah. And it's you, amazing. Yeah. And because you give your energy to other people. Like, it's not that you just go and sit there. Like, you're literally giving your energy to other people who may not have it right now. True. So. True. Yeah. yeah. I know. And, so and still still have enough in the in the tank. So, that it really too. is the energy management. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Absolutely. And, yeah. So, that reference... That reference point for me is still very strong. I still know what it feels like, but I can understand how some people it would get fady once you start kind of going back down the hill again. Yeah. And that awareness is just, it goes out the window. So on that note, what are some things that we could give people to kind of cut the circuit to be able to pull themselves back from that, that snowballing effect? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Like, accountability and mm. hiring someone to help you out whether it's like some kind of a mentor whether it's a personal trainer whether it's a friend or a family member who can help you with this like I think that can be really really useful um, if you don't want to hire a personal trainer if you want something a little bit more economical we have a great solution for that which is our leaner stronger coaching program which is a very very cost-effective way of getting access to not only our training system, our training app, all our nutrition and lifestyle coaching, but weekly access to having conversations like this or whatever you want to talk about in our weekly coaching calls and in our monthly one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. catch-up. So if you want to learn more about that, I would highly recommend going to coachbuilder.com slash leaner stronger. Amazing amazing mm -hmm. we hope that this has been useful to you if you know of someone who would really benefit from hearing this in their life right now that there is hope things can be different things can be changed all you need is a little bit of help to get you moving into the right direction please do that and other than that if you have any questions or comments send us a message on instagram at coach Buru. At Coach Teresa West. At Coach Teresa West. I remember that by now, by the way. <laughs> um, that's it. Hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day. This is Coach Peter. Coach Teresa. See you in the next episode. Bye.